Hi and welcome to this short tutorial on how you can actually personalise the confirmation emails that go out when somebody signs up to your newsletter or signs up to receive some information. Now if you go into MailChimp, obviously you'll see a new dashboard that's come into play recently and straight away it brings you to the audience dashboard. So what you want to be able to do is just choose the actual audience where you want to actually work on the sign up form. So I'm just going to choose this Gene Atkinson one here and then if you go to manage audience on the right just go straight to your sign up forms now obviously you have the typical ones here and you can go to another video to understand how you can use each one of these but for now what we're going to do is actually look at how we can personalize the confirmation and welcome emails so if you go to form builder and click on select you'll be taken to this page and what you have here is a drop down menu forms and response emails and you can personalize pretty much any of these but the two that we're going to look at which is the more common ones are going to be confirmation thank you page and also final welcome email now when you click on confirmation thank you page it brings you up the template down here and this is typically what you'll see when someone signs up to your email newsletter for example they'll get this through on their email saying your subscription has been confirmed thank you okay so you can actually change some of this information here by just clicking on edit and just, you know, kind of like you would do in MailChimp, just change the information. So have everything you need as usual at the top here, including links. So it could be that you want to say thank you and then maybe link them to a free download or link them to a members area to log in, things like that. So you can actually put whatever information you want in here based on what you have available at the top. Okay. And then when you're happy with that, you can then look at design it. So again, you can change your backgrounds and your wrappers. You can change your logo, things like that. So you have the same functionality that you would do if you're just working on the typical um, sign up form. So that's what you do there. OK, what you can alternatively do is put a different URL in so that when people sign up to your newsletter, you can actually take them to one of your own personal pages that you've designed in your website or you could take them to another link elsewhere. And you'll just basically copy and paste that in this area here. For example there, and then you would just save it. And that means then that it would cancel out this area here and just take them straight to that page once they've signed up, okay? So this works very similar to the sign up form. So go and have a look at that tutorial if you're not so sure about how to use them. The second one you might want to look at is actually the final welcome email. Now to use this, you do have to have to check this box. Okay, that means it's now turned on and people will receive that once they've subscribed subscription has been confirmed, you can then send that welcome email out to them. And again, you would do it in the same way here in terms of the information and things like that. So already it has this kind of information in, which is basically saying that this is the information that you provided to us. It's quite good for GDPR purposes. And if you have the GDPR ticked, then it will show which permissions they've given for contact and they can unsubscribe at any time. So, you know, you can leave that at that or you may decide that you actually just want to personalize this top information here and um, just put a little bit of information in, maybe add a link again somewhere else. But it's just basically saying to them, welcome blah, 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 here, maybe a link somewhere, and this is the information that you've given us. So the welcome email, I would suggest you use if you're doing GDPR stuff for Europe, because um, it just makes them um, informed of the information that they've actually provided to you. Okay, and it's from it's certain information here. So what it basically says is that's where it's coming from. That's the email that it's coming from. And that's the subscription confirmation that I've given. OK, so it's just about telling them that they have given permission, the information has been received, and this is the information that they've shared with that company. OK, so this is something that's quite good if you're going through total GDPR strict kind of rules when it comes to newsletters or signups or downloads. Typically, you would use the um, confirmation thank you page, and that's the one where I tend to personalise my information for when people are signed up to something. So all of this sits under your audience dashboard, under the actual list that you want to work on, manage audience, go to sign up forms, click on the form builder, and then they appear here underneath 
the drop down and there's lots of different ones you might want to look at but the ones that you may wish to do or confirmation thank you page or the final welcome email the final welcome email to use that you need to have this checked and this is really good for kind of backing up gdpr stuff in terms of data and sharing information so hopefully you found that useful you may be using this already actually it's a new feature you never realized was there but if you just want to personalize confirmation emails when people subscribe to something then that's how you do it i hope that's helped you please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell really appreciate your support to grow the channel see you soon